When motorists think of road construction, usually at the forefront of their minds are traffic delays and how long the project is going to take, especially if it impacts their daily commute. But there's so much more to a project than paving and widening of the roadway. What many people usually don't think about is what actually goes on behind the scenes concerning quality control of the materials used, which is mandatory on every road project constructed by the North Dakota Department of Transportation. It's an important component because it guarantees the overall success of the project. According to Rob Rayhorn, Assistant Dickinson District Engineer, in order to accomplish this, the department uses on-site field testing labs such as this one, which help to streamline the testing process. By having the field lab on the project, that saves a lot of time for our tester where he doesn't have to drive material back to the district lab to do the testing. Quality control tests are done throughout the duration of the project, says Rayhorn, and all of the materials used are tested along the way to make sure they meet department specifications. They'll run aggregate samples, uh, they'll run proctors, which we use for the compaction tests, and there'll be a hot bituminous lab where they run tests on all the paving. Rayhorn says once the tests are complete, they are given to the project engineer for review and then passed on to the contractor. If they find major deficiencies, such as inadequate compaction of soil or improper gradation of aggregate, they alert the contractor and measures are taken to make sure these are corrected. If the problem is severe enough, they can actually stop work on a project. We have some materials where if it fails a couple times in a row, you have to stop using that material until you have some corrective action to, to fix the problem. So failing tests can stop a project. The field lab is just one of the ways that motorists can be assured that all materials used on state highway projects meet the highest of quality standards as the department works to enhance the state's transportation infrastructure now and into the future.